this is a little uh, tutorial on working a he sock with a heel flap, a heel turn, and gussets. We've got our heel flap here worked, and this is just a section of a sock here. So this is the end step here, and here's the heel flap. I'm just working it over 30 stitches total, 15 for the heel flap, so we've got a small sample. We've slipped the first stitch of each side of the row. Slip the first stitch. That gives that chain salvage on each edge, and we'll use those for picking up stitches in a minute. First thing we're going to do is create the heel turn. Um, so we're going to knit over to the middle of our heel. We're just going to have one stitch in the center because this is a small sample. Depending on the size of your heel, you might have three or five in the center. We're just going to have one. That's our center stitch. There's seven here and eight here, so that's the center stitch. We're going to knit it. Then we knit two together for the next two, and then we knit one. Now we'd like to have an even number of stitches remaining, and we do, because on each subsequent row we'll use two of those stitches. Now when we turn to work back the other way, because that was a short row, we slip the first stitch, then we're going to knit that stitch that was the knit two together, then we're going to, I mean, purl it, purl that stitch, then we're purling the center stitch, then we're going to make an SSP. That's the mirror image of a knit two together. So we slip, the way you do it, you slip the first stitch as if to knit, Slip the second stitch as if to knit, put them both back on the left needle, and then you come up through the back loop and knit, purl them together. So you're coming through the second stitch, go behind, come through the second stitch, come through the first stitch, and purl them together. And then you're going to purl one. Now we have those four stitches remaining. You turn, slip the first stitch, knit that purled uh, SSP, knit the center stitch, work until there's one stitch left, there's a big gap, then you knit these two stitches together, knit one, now we have two stitches remaining, turn. Slip the first stitch, work across until we come to the, oops, I split that stitch, work across until we come to the one stitch before the gap, here comes the gap, there's the gap, one stitch, so we're going to make an SSP with these two. That closes the gap. Slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit. Purl them together through the back loops. Purl one. Got two stitches left. We turn the work. Slip the first stitch, work across until we come to the gap. Here's the gap. We knit two together, knit one. Now we've consumed all the stitches on that side, so we're going to turn and do one more. Row across the wrong side. We slip the first stitch, work until we come to one stitch before the gap. Where's the gap? I'm going to make an SSP, slip, slip. Put them back on the left needle, purl them together through the back loops, purl one. Now we've used all of the heel stitches. We've made this nice little heel that's called turning a heel. You can see it here. It's a turned heel. Now we're going to work those gusset stitches. We're going to pick up stitches along the sides. So we're going to, again, slip this first stitch, work across the whole row. Now we're going to be going back to knitting in the round. We were knitting flat for the heel turn. Now we're going to knit in the round. Now we're going to be using these, this chain salvage down the side. Can you see the chain stitches? We're going to go under both legs of each chain stitch and pick up a new stitch. And we're going to pick it up fairly tightly. Some people pick up under one leg, but I like to pick up under two legs. 
and you pick up tightly. Hold those picked up stitches snugly. Don't let them loosen up on your needle. You pick up one stitch in each chain, going under both legs. You can see the chain there. I'm going under both legs until you come to the end of the heel flap. And there are no more slip stitches. Now we see there's no more slip stitches. We've picked them all up. Oftentimes you'll end up with a space here and a hole in your sock. So a way to prevent that hole is to use the other end of this working needle. We've got the other end now. And we pick up See this stretched strand here? We go under that and we can knit it through the back loop. So we're picking up an extra stitch in the space between the heel flap and the instep. Now we're going to work across the instep. We're just going to knit across. If it were in pattern, you'd work in pattern. Our pattern is stockinette stitch, so we're just going to work across and then we're going to pick up another stitch in the other heel flap uh, space where the heel flap and the instep connect. This is our tail. Now here's that space right here. See that stretched out stitch? And this, if we worked straight across, would leave a hole right there in the corner. So now we're going to take the other needle, the needle that's on our um, heel flap, and we're going to take both ends of it. We're going to go underneath that strand and put it on the left needle, and we're going to knit it through the back loop. And we're going to go along and we're going to pick up the slip stitches on this edge, going under both legs each time, holding the yarn snugly, very snug. Pick up one stitch in each slip stitch. And there we go. Now we're back to our the top of our heel flap and where we started. We're now back completely knitting in the round on two needles. Now, we're going to take care of those two little extra stitches that we picked up. We want to get rid of those right off, so we're going to knit right over. Now we're coming to the first side of the gusset over here where we picked these stitches up. There's no holes. You can see they're nice and tight. Some people knit these stitches through the back loop. I do not. I picked them up nice and tight. There's no need to pick them up, knit them through the back loop. If you do, you ended up, end up with a bunch of twisted stitches on the first row. Now we've got, this is the extra stitch right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an SSK. So that makes the extra stitch go underneath the first, the last stitch of the heel flap right there. Then we're going to work across the instep again, just in a pattern. to the next needle, which has all the heel flap and gusset stitches on it, we're going to get rid of that second extra stitch. And we're going to do that now. So now we're going to pull this needle up into place. This is the heel flap with the gusset stitches. This is that extra stitch that we picked up right there. So we're going to take the heel flap needle and we're just going to knit two together. And what that does is it takes that first gusset stitch and puts it over the top of that extra stitch. And then we'll work the gusset around. And now we've got all of our gusset stitches on the needle. We've gotten rid of those two extra stitches and we're ready to start working our gussets. This is the beginning of the round right here. So we've got our heel turn. We've got all of our gusset sticks, stitches picked up on each side. And then our instep. 